this is Noxious here and welcome to another video from Minecraft um, today I'm going to be doing you a tour of my base um, I will be doing more than just tours but I just wanted to get you updated on Avatopia um, to show you uh, what's going on really because I haven't really filmed much from here so I've just been doing a few tours just to bring you up to speed and then I'll do some building with you uh, and other things that I decide to do I don't know what else I'll be doing but we'll see won't we okay so there we go let's show you around the base okay so here we are uh, this is my portal which is right in the center of my base um, this area is for myself and Seance 89 who is my real life wife uh, she comes on now and again she does a little bit she's not a big in Minecrafter as I am but and she does play a little bit and my base has complete use for her as well as me okay so uh, where shall I start I'll start by where, where I did start when I came here so when I came a long time ago this here was a huge mountain which I took all the way down I did originally think um, I was going to build on top of the mountain and have a little path going up and around it but it didn't happen like that I decided I wanted more space at ground level so here we are and this is where I started my first little shack and this is it oh we've got a thing in here is that oh no that's not mine I think this is where the seance has taken over now but this is yeah this was where I started out and then I moved on and I built a little bridge and a little pathway and decided to build my main house over here and I built it like this I put this tower on and I haven't even used this tower and I don't really like it so I might take that down at some point and change it let's get another viewpoint off from it see what you guys think comment below let me th let me know what you think of my tower I don't like it I thought it would have been nice But I don't like it. Unfortunately, I think I might just take it right down. Yeah. I think I will do that, thinking about it. Anyway, this, let's go into my house. Let's have a little look. There you got this. I still want to work on the interior because it's, it's not done. It's just a kind of like somewhere I come and work. But I do want to put beams around and just make it so it's not so plain looking. Uh, over here we have my bedroom. This here is the tower. <laughs> which I've done nothing with um, over here is my smelting room this is what I use to smelt loads of things and get my XP so I'll have lots of things done and there'll be lots of XP to collect over here is obviously my storage Everything's been named. I eventually would like one box for every, so for one thing, so like one flesh and one box. Uh, rails and one box. Then I'd need a special rails box. I don't have that, etc. 
over here we have items now I think I'm gonna change this I've made this as two rooms that one here and this one here but I think I might change this to have one big room and put boxes for armor weapons tools all in the one room I think I might do that at some point uh, armor these are my first armors this is the armor that was well, donated given to me for starting you've got the oh I can't remember now um, I think the lever might have been for you from your starters backpack and then the helmet and oh correct me if I'm wrong if anyone can you anyone remember how we got these I think it was for being one of the founders which meant I was on here from the very first day of Avatopia opening and this was my first iron armor I made I don't have a first diamond because it probably burned in lava at some point in fact I think it did I originally had a portal in here my nether portal and I went through once and fell straight into lava and I think that was the first time I died in lava so yeah okay this is gonna be a lounge I haven't finished it yet it's not gonna be a working room I don't think just something to look nice I don't know uh, see I do project I do things and then move on and then don't finish them so I should really spend a day where I finish all those things that I haven't actually finished well this here is an automatic composter really easy anyone want to build it chest or um, barrel well, actually start from the bottom chest or barrel this is the output where everything goes into and you get a hopper going into it then you've got your composter going into the hopper another hopper going into that and another chest this is where you put anything organic you, you don't want and it'll turn it into bone meal nice and easy just chuck it in you got bone meal at the end AFK fish farm for anyone who doesn't know how to make it I might make, might make a little tutorial of how to do it but as a little look if you can work it out from looking at it pause the screen in a second and that's how you do it and you basically throw oh if I can even remember throw your fishing line at the pole I don't use AFK fish as you see there's nothing in here I don't use it but it's handy if I want a few fish <laughs> and I don't can't be bothered to go outside and get it but a lot of some people do AFK fishing and I I, I haven't got the time to sit there AFK waiting for a book to pop up that I want this is my automatic smelter this side does my ores this side is a normal one and I've just got a couple of extras there if I need it how do you do it quite simple really you just put your hoppers going into it then hopper coming out this is your on off switch if you want to keep um, things in your hopper so you don't uh, don't lose your XP if it goes into the box then you won't be able to get your XP out um, yeah so pause the screen if you want to copy this it's really easy you just put in the uh, ores in this side no what am I talking about you put your coals or your fuel into have I got that right into the side yeah and then whatever you're going to cook in the top don't do it the other way around won't work 
This here is a garbage disposal. And all you do, all it does is simply burn stuff. Throw it, it drops stuff into lava. So don't put anything in there you don't want to lose. This here is a little workstation for my brewing. It's got stuff in it, fire resistance everywhere. Yes. And then over here, just a few workbenches that I use. Yeah, this is where I do a lot of work. I don't do this, use this anymore, but it's here if ever I need it. Because I have a, another area that I use for that. And that is pretty much the house as I started it. Now, I've just recently put a new addition in. I didn't have a, any farms, automatic farms at all, until I built under here. And now I do because I wanted it to just start happening for me. So I've come along and built these. There are plenty of uh, YouTube channels out there to tell you how to do this. If you'd like me to show you how to do it, comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see in a video. But this is simple. They all pretty much run uh, with a minecart underneath, moving around, sucking up anything that gets dropped. So we got sweet berries, cactus, bamboo, what is that? Oh yeah, uh, sugarcane, kelp. I'm going to make this one bigger, but this is um, pumpkin and melons. This is my wool farm. It's a little bit broken at the minute, so I've kind of like stopped it, stopped it. I've got to fix these little sheep. That, oh, that one's worked. Uh, I think these sheep that aren't getting any wool back. They should be getting their wool back and they're not. So I'm going to have to fix that. It should be working. There's nothing between the grass here and the dirt here. I don't know why but that's not going, but I'll try and fix that somehow. And then over here is a work in progress. I've done a bee farm and the bee farm works fine. And I thought, add some villagers and you can make your crop farm with your bees because the bees going over crops will make them grow faster. So I thought you can combine it all in and it hasn't worked. So I've got to work on this a bit more. I might just separate it and have a villager, villager crop farm separate to my bee farm. And down here, I'm going to do animal farms. I might even move the sheep down here eventually. But I'm going to have lots of animal farms. I've actually got a slime chunk in this corner. So I might put a slime farm in here somewhere. And that's it. That's all for the house. Got more storage here. This is going to be like food storage all around here. give me more room to mess around with other things upstairs and then uh, I can't I'm not gonna go through it all in order of what I've done now but uh, as soon as we're still talking about storage this here oh, is a portal that keeps appearing but I don't want to keep appearing I wish it would stop oh, it's the one up there I want to use get that don't want to use that. I might have to move it slightly in the nether. Oh, 
jumps. Be careful. He says nearly falling down. Right. This here is my um, bulk storage. Each one of these sections is one thing. So this all is dirt. Loads of it. If anyone wants it, plan on have it, have it open. Give me an ask. I hold everything. Oh, it's not a lot in the top there. But yeah, this is all cobblestone here. Stone, yeah, all stone. Here. It's all grass blocks. Here. Oh, not a lot. Oh, yeah, I was going to do lines. And a site. Thought I had more stuff than that. Wow. Slacking. Maybe I've used it somewhere. And then, yeah, you get the idea. And what else have we got? This is my Christmas tree. I don't think I'm going to take it down. It might be bad luck. But I don't care. I'm not superstitious. I'm just going to leave this tree here. This here is going to be my gardens. So I've got a lot of work to do with my gardens still. But I'm trying to get a little pathway around. Oh, it's in the back of the house yet. And here. Oh, I haven't finished the uh, light there. For the lights I'm having dotted around the place. There's a crop farm which I will move because it's a bit of an eyesore there. This goes all the way around here. And here we go. This is where I spend a lot of my time. The windmill, which is my villager trading hall. Excuse all the beds, I've been trying to breed them. <laughs> uh, one of the updates made me lose all my villagers that weren't name tagged. So make sure you name, you know, name tag your villagers or you might just lose them one day. But yeah, these are all my villagers, these are all these all do books for me because I sell books in the shop so they all do books for me I don't think I haven't tried it but I don't with the update now I don't think you can uh, turn them into zombie villagers and then back again and reduce how much they're getting things for they sell things and buy things for but uh, currently I can books I can sell one book for one emerald and then sell, oh, no, what am I doing, what am I say? Yeah, I can buy three bookshelves for one emerald, which gives you three books. So that's nine books for one emerald. And then I can sell one book for one emerald. So for every one emerald, I get nine books nine books I get one emerald each so that's nine emeralds so for every one emerald I can get nine emeralds back plus I get the XP for doing it it's brilliant so that gives me ooh, where is it lots of emeralds <laughs> and up here I have also have a banner shop this is where I get all my balance. Now I haven't zombie villagers these. I am happy with what Oh hello, what's this guy doing? Hey no, Mr Mr. Yellow, what are you doing? <laughs> that must have been one of the villagers that I need set loose to breed. I thought he had died or something. He's supposed to be in this slot here. Oh, I'm glad he's still around. Okay, and then yeah, that's that's about it. Under here, I've got my uh, enchanting table, all the books I need. That's all my project projectile projection. 
on my fire. We'll get all ready for me to uh, get some armor ready because I have an armor shop which sells enchanted armor. Which these are all ready to go in my armor shop. Okay. Uh, I would like to do a few more floors of villagers in. But let's wait and see. I don't want to get too many entities going. So I won't do it just yet until I really need it. Over here is what my wife's doing. My seance is, oops, is building. She's building a Japanese pagoda. Uh, I won't show you that until it's all done. Uh, up here, if you did see Scouse Mouse's video, so he done a tour of his own without me guiding him around. And he didn't know what this was all about. I don't think he knew what this was about. This is my this is my area where I um, where I turned my villagers into zombie villagers and then back again. So I would I would send them different places because I would have have trouble with them choosing a uh, choosing a profession they I wanted. So I would send them all the way here once I breeded it, and I'd send once once I'd had it changed to a villager and back zombie villager and back again. I'd move it to the uh, windmill, and that's what that was. It's a bit of a long process, but that's the way I did it. Okay, They're over here. Oh, something that was missed before. This here. It is sugar cane, and you can cut it down. Don't cut the bottom one, please. Just cut the top one, and you're going to cut the top two. But this here is actually a maze, and if you can find your way around without going through the sugar cane, well done. Uh, yeah, that's a maze. And then over here, we have my oops, greenhouse. And if you see here, I'm trying to put up some bits of art around the place just to oh, give it a little something. What do you think of this art? Comment below. <laughs> I don't like this one. There's another one I'll show you later that I prefer, but yeah, I don't really like that one too much. But who's to say what art is good, hey? But this is my botanical garden greenhouse thing. Alright, so let's take a look inside of this greenhouse. Got the lights up there. Potatoes in this section. And then we have a little fountain in the middle. Pumpkins. Melons. Let's dig them up while I'm here. go and over here is big root and over here is carrots and that's just it it's not automatic you've got to do it yourself okay have a few trees I planted out here just for chopping down. And 
my wheat. Yeah, combine harvester. Which is checking out wheat barrels. There. Light that up, I think. Eventually, I'm going to send this back a bit further just to make this a bit bigger. It's a little farm here. Currently, that's how it is. Now we have my barn. General storage at the side. Let's have a look from the front. That's it. And inside, a bit more storage there. Cows, pigs, sheep, chickens, and a couple of empty ones. I want horses and llamas in these, really. Uh, I think horses. Something else, I don't know, but that'll do for now. Yeah, over here, we've seen this, which is my original house, and then the whatever you call it a wheel, water wheel, water mill. Yeah, that's it. Some random things. This can go now. I don't need that. I'll put something else here in the, eventually. Cactus. Bamboo. Let's just go this way. Oh yes, and this is my have a bit of modern art. I quite like that one. Uh, I want lots of different bits of art installments dotted around the place. Over there, just my acacia for chopping down. And what is in the water mill? Nothing at the top. I haven't done anything with this yet. But I will. In here. Here's some villagers. They all disappeared because I didn't name tag them, so make sure you name tag them. I said it early, earlier. Name tag your villagers! Okay! And that's about it. I've got a bit of an underground thing. Uh, my thing, oh, uh, what well, you can't see, oh, it stopped working because I haven't got it working at the minute. I wonder if I can knock a hole in here. No, that's not it. Try and find. I know where I can find it. Can you bear with me a second. Here it should be. Oh. Under here. As you can see under here. This water system, which is. I don't know why it's not producing mobs in there. You would have thought it would produce mobs. But anyway, that's beside the point. This is um, from when golems spawn, because I got my villagers in there. If I get them to look at a zombie, which I haven't got right now, that will produce golems around here, as so long as I make it unspawnable inside. 
and around the air at this area. So the golems should spawn around there, the iron golems, which will then produce me an iron farm. But that still needs resetting up. It was working at one point, but it's it's not working at the minute. But that's what this whole building is all about. It's my villager. Um, it's not really trading. It's more of um, it's trading all the individual things, all the different um, professions. But it's more um, for breeding. What I'll do is I'll just come in here, throw some food at someone, and get them to produce a villager or two. It's not automatic. It's um, very controlled. I, want, I don't want them to just keep throwing out villages. And under here is where I kill my golems. Oh, there's one there. But I'm not. I should. It should kill them with lava. But that's not all set up. So he's just standing there. So like that. And that is pretty much it. So there's um, a mine, mines underground. Not really worth seeing. Which is all down that way. Other than that, yeah, that's about as much as my base. And um, there's more things I've done on this server. I'll probably do a more of a tour at another point of time. But for now. And that's about it. Say so thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and give the video a like and a comment if you will. That would be very helpful. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you in another video. Goodbye. Bye bye. <music>